So he looked at me really funny and stupid. And then I told him, why don't you go jacket over there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, oh no, no, it's my roommate. He does not like when I have guests. I gotta, I gotta fix this. I am so sorry. I didn't think you would come this early. I, I brought guests, man. Okay, uh, did you at least test them? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't check. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, really? Not even during this time? Right, I know I messed up, but I don't think any of these guys is gonna have COVID, you know? What? No, not COVID. I meant test their skills with main cards! Damnation, crime, firesworn, damage three enemy units by two, death blow, spawn a firesworn zealot on the opposite row for each destroyed enemy. So this could actually got quite a significant buff by... It used to be adjacent, so two adjacent units. Well, now it's not that. Now you can literally damage two un uh, three units by two no matter where they are in the field. And then you spawn those three sea lots if you can get the death blow. So the max points you can get out of this obviously is 12. For seven provisions, that's pretty good, but very rarely will you get the, the 12 points, the full 12 points out of this. But you have synergies with things like Fallen Knights or the Eternal Fire Pli Priest, I think. And yeah, th those cards do have some synergies with this card. And Fire Sworn in general is quite a forgotten archetype in the last, you know, year pretty much. Wow, how time passes with Gwent, huh? But yeah, now that's... Let's just play some Fire Sworn, huh? So the deck that I build, I mean, it's very basic Fire Sworn. I'm playing a... Uh, I am playing a Devotion list because Ulrich is a very strong Devotion card. I mean, not the strongest Devotion card. I mean, he's, <laughs> Horson Jr. is better, but he's also in the deck, right? We got Jack with also a Devotion payoff. So we got like three Devotion payoffs and we can play Vivaldi Bank as well. We also have Damnation. So a lot of decks would play, I think, Excommunication instead of Damnation. But I think the buff to damnation is a pretty solid one and we have a lot of solid spells as well with payday bloody good fun as a one-off as a good little spell smuggle being for provisions very good congregation being very good i also run eternal fire Priest because uh, sorry eternal fire priest because it works with damnation quite well since it doesn't spawn it all at once i think it it shouldn't right it, it should be like singleton spawns for each death blow so yeah it also has that synergy and as well with the fallen knight being super synergistic with the damnation card and yeah the rest is just kind of like solid fire sworn cards and horse and senior sort of as our round two bleed card where you know you have the leader ability to synergize with him and then you get a lot of points out of him by just playing crimes and having like three engines on your side of the field that can play for a lot of points if not answered and yeah let's just see what we can do with this deck maybe we can climb a little bit with some syndicate i mean we are in pro rank but realistically i'm not going for for a top 500 anytime soon so yeah let's just see what we can do with this little brew that i put together all right, we are facing Pincer Maneuver. Okay, that's pretty good. Pincer Maneuver being able to give us a two-point unit with the leader ability, which is kind of good. I'm playing Tactical Advantage. I think Tactical Advantage is a fine card. We got two Eternal Fire Priests. I don't think two Eternal... Oh, that's a good little draw. Ulrich's pretty good with this Fallen Knight. I would like one Congregation. I don't think I want all my control cards just yet. Can I get rid of this Penance? I don't have much Swarm payoff, so I think I have to actually get rid of the Penance here. Okay, so... I think it's fine to start with the Fire Priest and give him a tactical advantage. See what my opponent does here. I hope he's not like a Foltest Abuse deck, because I, I really have no answer for that. This deck, the, the main problem with this deck basically is the fact that you... You're kind of screwed against these sort of binary strategies where it's like, all right, have an answer for this card or you're going to lose, which, you know, a lot of decks these days actually are, but you never know. There, there was a consideration to also play a Darn in this deck, but I wanted to keep the Devotion because of Horson and just, you know, Ulrich as well. I wanted to play a more sort of standard list here. If this is Defender, we could be in a bit of trouble. Okay, no, it's just a, just a solid little Banard student. Okay. 
It's gonna use leader as well. That's interesting. Okay. So is this some sort of Griffin deck? Nah, he's not, he's not gonna play Banard student in a Griffin deck, right? That, that's, that's just silly, right? That has to be just a bit silly. Hmm. Problem with this hand is like, I have literally no swarm. I have no congregations. I have no smuggles. I have no damnations as well. No cleric of the flaming rose. The only thing I have is Helvede. And I'm not sure if Helvede's any good here. Hmm. I could damage this down, but I think he's gonna play devotion and boost it up by four. But that doesn't boost it, right? This might be some kind of nonsense deck. We'll have to wait and see here. Thing is, I can hit this, and if he doesn't sort of boost it up, I can just kill it with the payday. But that's a bit annoying, obviously, spending two removal tools against Northern Realms. Okay, so he's giving this cool... Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's actually quite scary now. Ooh, I might have to... I might have to, like, play some risky stuff here. I'm hoping for Damnation here, actually. Damnation is really, really strong, but I could also go for another Fallen Knight if I want to greet this. I could pass as well. And then I'm carry over, but giving NR the long run, I kind of want to bleed him. This is difficult. I think I need to actually go Fallen Knight here and use one leader charge. Like, if he has Boiling Oil, that's fine. I'm still keeping it out of, like, a four damage range. Because this is at three damage right now. And I kind of want to try and hit the Furco into the, the Damnation. I do want to play Damnation this round. Damnation feels like a really strong card right now. Okay, now it feels like an insane card, dude. Damnation's gonna completely carry. It's gonna be completely nuts. Alright, let's go Damnation ba- Oh, that's so bad. How do we- Oh my god, we drew like the worst cards here. We didn't even get Furco. Oh god, we didn't even get like, uh, Tavern Brawl. Oh my god. This was really bad. These were all really bad top decks as well. I guess it's good that we're shuffling our deck. I think I have to play the Cleric. For the points. God, this feels really bad. And this is quite a few points. But w the longer this round goes on, the, the worse it's gonna be for us. So I might have to actually <laughs> commit like a Dies Irae and a Sacred Flame here. Which doesn't feel good, obviously. Yeah, there goes the- oh god, that's a bit scary. Why not- okay. Okay, that's actually pretty s good then for us. If I can play around Foltus Pride. This has a four- this is four damage now. Ah, uh, that's pretty good, huh? That's... Okay, I can, I, can, I can actually kill this with Payday, though, so that's fine. That's not the worst. That's a good Payday target. Can I tie? I think I can tie with this hand, honestly. Wow. Okay, I, can actually, I think I can actually tie with this hand. I don't think I mind the tie here. I have a pretty explosive round, round two here. It's a bit scary, because I don't want to commit any of these cards. And if I, if I have to commit these cards, then... Oh, there's the Damnation, and there's the Furco. Okay, I'm all the Sacred Priest. I don't need this, right? Okay. So how do I want to do this? No Horson feels kind of bad here. Neither neither of the Horsons is really bad here. We would have had a very solid round if we had Horson, for sure. I, oh, he goes first. That's a pretty big Ballista, that's funny. Do I really care about this, though? I think I do this and convert one of my dudes. I think that makes sense. This damnation's looking pretty sad, by the way. Oh, he didn't draw a siege. He used all his leader charges and he didn't draw a siege. That's pretty good for me, then. That is actually pretty fine with me. And shield could be quite good with uh, Tavern Brawl. This would have been really good if he played this in the same row as this. That's fine. I don't need the spender here. Oh, the damnation could be really bad, though. Oh, there- wait, he still had Siege done. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I mean... Is it- is it really that bad, though? Like, I, I'm, tr I'm gonna try and get as much armor on my side of the field as possible. I'm not gonna use my leader charges just yet. And these can also absorb damage, and I can transform them with my Cleric, which is pretty solid. Hmm. So I think I wanna kill this with- yeah, I kinda wanna kill this, right? So I'm gonna kill this with my Tavern Brawl here. That feels pretty good. Then I'm gonna go Sacred Flame. This this Cleric Priest could be very useful here. Definitely a very useful card. I don't care about Jack. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, he could have probably gotten a bigger... Yeah, but now he's killing off my ones here, and that's a problem. 
Oh, and he calls. Oh my god. Ah, oh, dude, this deck is so old. Ah, oh, dude, this deck is way too old. I mean, we didn't. We got kind of unlucky last last round for sure, with our draws and like the bank not hitting the cards that we wanted. But I mean, you can't really like say it's luck because realistically, it's not. And damnation here looks like complete garbage. It's not even like remotely good. Like holy moly, this is so bad. Right, I can at least try and hit this, so I can get at least one damnation here. God, he has double last say as well. Oh, actually, he doesn't. Have, he has last say though. Like this game's so over. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if we had if we had the horse and senior, this would have been a lot different, I think. Cause he he kills like everything, right? Jesus Christ, we're getting completely obliterated here. <laughs> well, that's that's what happens when archetype just doesn't get any support for like an entire year. Feels bad, man. I mean, it's still like it plays for what six plus two. Like it's still an eight for seven, which obviously sucks because you know <laughs> why would I want an eight for seven? But yeah, this this was definitely a bit of an unlucky one. I could have I, I I missed a lot of control. I guess I could have kept the payday, but. I don't think it would have mattered in the end. Yeah, this 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 was just a game to be lost for us. Yeah, this was not this was not good. <laughs> this was pretty bad actually. I mean, this was bound to happen. All right, we got another pincer maneuver. Hopefully this time he goes first. Oh no, I go first. That's a problem. Oh man. Okay, at least we got we get a congregation in this hand. Now we don't have the cards that actually work with congregation, which is quite sad. I guess we have one per percussion. Mm, this isn't good. No, this is not a good hand. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll we'll try our best here to sort of get away with it. But we are missing some big big boys here. Like we're missing Ulrich and a Fallen Knight. God, this this deck is really like draw dependent on a f certain cards. It's actually really stupid. And he's gonna start with the AA. That's really annoying. Is this the same guy? It might actually be the same guy. Like I'm not even joking. It's high possibility. At least we have the damnation this time, which is pretty cool. Could play for a lot if he uses all of his leader stuff in round one. Oh no, he's gonna play. Uh, can I get ahead of him somehow here? I kind of want to. I don't think I can get ahead of him here. God, that's so bad. Is there any way I can get ahead of him here? Like a lot. Like so much that I actually. I'm not gonna get obliterated by the five point per turn full test. Wait, no, it's not five. Oh yeah, it is five. Yeah, man, full test is so broken. <laughs> Stick is so broken. All right, he's gonna go for the. Is there any way I can randomly hit this? I don't think there is. That would have been with horse and senior, but I didn't draw him. Dude, what do I do here? I guess I just have to play the the tempo. Wait, okay, so he's gonna play... Okay, we can, we can do the math here, actually. He's gonna play Foltus. Foltus is gonna come down for... 5, 6, plus 4, 10. So he's on 20... 5. I need 10 points here. I think the only thing that does it is this, which plays for 7... Plus 3... And then I can use one of these dudes. That's annoying. Unless, I mean, he could still... Oh, yeah, of course he uses leader then. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is so dumb. God, that swing's so stupid. Okay, so he gets... I didn't calculate the other Dun Banner coming out. Oh, boy. I mean, he can just pass, right? Like... God, this is so stupid. What if I just do this? I'm never getting more value out of this. Yeah, now he just needs to do some stupid stuff. And stay ahead here. Yeah, Foltest. Foltest is kind of broken. I mean, Foltest was... Well, <laughs> no, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to lose the game here, which is great. That's fine. Now he just has Siege and wins all the games. Haha. -ha. Great gameplay. 
dude, this, this is triggering. This is like, like, Northern Realm is arguably my worst matchup here. Okay, Horson's nice. This is also actually quite nice. The Damnation is, is, is a bad card. I, I do realize that now. I don't think I need DS Ray here. Definitely don't want this as well. Oh my god, this hand is so bad. I don't even have a Horson Senior now. I, I didn't draw a single Fallen Knight as well. Okay. I do expect such things to happen here. All right. Oh boy. I mean, we have all the control tools we could possibly want. Oh, double battering round. That's pretty impressive. I mean, he's not going to pass. That would be stupid of him. But he doesn't have any units to interact with as well, so that's actually not terrible. Oh, he's playing... Okay, so at least he's playing kind of like a bit of a different version here. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'll just play my smuggle here. So what, what could my... What could my Vivaldi Bank give me here? I mean, if I if I survive the bleed, my short round's actually pretty good here. That is if I survive the bleed. <laughs> Which, not very likely, to be honest, since I have a six-point card in my hand here. Very likely. Wait, did he use both leader charges last round? No, he used one just now, right? So, okay, that's not terrible. I think I go bank now. Wait, he's actually doing this? I think I can... Wait, I can kill Battering Ram and then kill the Dun Banner, but he still has AA, right? So I think I do... I do this. I use the Furco. I kill Dun Banner with my Tavern Brawl. He doesn't have boosts, right? And he's gonna AA for the other one. So the, the other one I can kill with Horson. Yeah, there you go. So that's pretty okay then. I mean, I, I'm not ahead. Which is a bit of a problem. But I do have two targets. For, wait, how much? This is four? Four plus three. I could stay ahead here now. I think now, gi giving in the pass now is a bit of a stupid option. So I think I have to actually do this. And I mean, now, now that I have the, the Damnation activated, it's not the worst. Because I can use Damnation to kill these two and then kill off the Battering Ram with my Horson. Okay. He does ki Okay, that's actually pretty lucky for me. So I do this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Damnation coming in hot. Oh, look at the damnation, baby. Ooh! Look at that value, bro. That was like an... What was that? Four, four, eight. Oh, dude, that was like a ten. That was a ten points. How good is ten points? It's pretty good, I'd say. Mm, I think I go bank here and just see what I get off of the top. That's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna take that. Okay, now he's just trying to value bleed me, right? I think I survived this bleed quite well. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna play my Sacred Flame. I hope, oh, I hope he doesn't play his last card here. He might play his last card here. Okay, last card, Gerhart. We know that much at this point, right? That. Why is... Dude, this would be so good if it was a location, actually. Sacred Flame should be a location. Like, honestly, Sacred Flame should just be a location. If if Svalba Totem is a location, so should Sacred Flame be, right? Okay, that's a good draw. Okay. I mean, Fall Knight is pretty good. Oh, Fall Knight's really good here, right? Question is, does he have... He played both... He played both Bombardments, so there's quite low odds of him actually having something to deal with this at this point. I want to max out my value here as well. Ah, he did have the he did have the boiling oil. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. But I mean, this is a pretty nuts short round still to this day. The hell veed into Jack into the DS Ira is pretty good. Oh, dude, look at this! I can just do this. Get out of here, dog. Bro, we're so good. Look at this. He got he's got no points. His last card's like Gerhardt for the, the Pact, right? It's pretty obvious. Oh, look at us! Look at us! Look at us beating the Northern Realm scum! The North shall light up the pyres. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! I think he probably misplayed this, but... The turn where we played the Damnation and used all of our leader charges was the turn where we won the game, pretty much. Because we were very much in control at that point. And the fact that we were able to keep the Jack 
And, you know, he was able to keep Gerhard. In, in our case, Jack is way more valuable than a power play Gerhard. And we were able to kill every one of his Dun Banners as well. Because he did play the Pavetta, he was always sort of... Uh, he was always showing us that he wanted to play for the Dun Banners. But he was never able to set up any boosts. So, yeah, that, that's where he failed. He was trying a bit of a cheeky strategy with the Foltest. He should have just gone without Pavetta and not tried to constant, constantly play those Dun Banners. But yeah, we, we, we got away with it. That's nice. All right, last game I thought we were going to lose. Okay, s all right. A little bit of white frost. This could be interesting. We have tactical advantage, which actually is quite important here. That is actually quite a significant... I do want to fall a knight in this hand for sure. Fall knight... Could, oh, tavern brawl could also be very good here. If they don't play around tavern brawl, I think it, it could actually be game winning. So we have to find a good timing for it. Do I need Flaming Rose Cleric? No. I'd rather have the engine in this situation. Uh, no Fall Knight feels so bad though. Do I keep my Ulrich? There's no way, right? Like this is still a solid engine. Ah, it's not even that good of an engine, honestly. I think I do this. I think I greed. I think I play for a bit of a greed, greedy line here. This also deals with Mamuna quite well, which is pretty good. Okay. Oh, he plays Neckers? That's interesting. I could deal with all of this with Horson. Right? Is that worth it, though? It might be. What if I just play Sacred Flame now? Oh, that's such a good card, though, to get rid of. Oh, Damnation now would be nuts. I think I'm waiting one turn for Damnation. Or do I just try and hit Damnation now? That's a pretty good Damnation. Yeah, that's a pretty solid Damnation, I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take the Damnation here for sure. Look at this value. Look at this value. That's some massive value for Damnation here. This card's nuts, guys! Play it in every single one of your Syndicate decks! <laughs> yeah, Damnation is a pretty funny card. I probably- I mean, I had no choice. Yeah, because he's gonna play the- the- the Art Gaith now. That is a bit annoying. I mean, fact is, we can pass here. We're- we're good to pass here. If he bleeds us, we're fine, right? We are okay if he bleeds us. He play, he got his, we got his Winter Queen out. First Art Gate. I mean, that's good for bleeding against us. Uh, that's not good, though. The, the Griffin is a bit of a problem. Griffin could be a bit of a problem. But the, the, as I said, Tavern Brawl is going to be quite an important card in this matchup. Because I don't think this guy is playing around Tavern Brawl, it seems. So, having access to that is definitely quite important. Okay, I want a Fallen Knight here. I can't mulligan this bronze now. Oh! Yes, okay, that's big. That's huge. Love to see that. Okay, so that's a very easy payday, I think. Yeah, that's an easy payday. Okay, he keeps the dominance. Hmm. So I don't want to I don't want to commit Ulrich into Fallen Knight now. So I'm gonna go Cleric of the Flaming Rose, and if he passes, I'm just gonna play the pro the progression, right? I think that's the best line I have here. I know I'm losing some points on Fallen Knights if I do this in this way, but I think that's worth it. Okay, he keeps going. Fair enough. I do understand why he would do this. So we're doing this, then staying ahead as well, which is good. We got two Intimidate engines now. He only has one engine. Ours are more explosive. Does he have... Oh, he could have a... I could have played around this, right? Ah, nah, could I? Oh, no, he goes for Eridan here. That's fine. So this is a pretty good... Uh, this is a pretty good Tavern Brawl, I would say. He needs two damage to kill this. If he moves it, we're fine, right? Okay, there's the Art Gaith. He doesn't have Dominance. Oh, he does have Dominance. Do I... Oh, I'm, I'm not ahead here, so I have to do this. Losing four. 
We have dominance. Okay, good. There's the Bamuna. You do expect it at some point. I think now we can just go explosive with the Hellveed. Kind of just nut out. Is that even enough? Should be enough, right? Okay. Okay, it goes Immerus Wrath. That is a bit annoying. I have Dominance now as well. With this play. I'm losing four. Yeah, this keeps me ahead. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna go DS Ray here. Shoot the Mimuna. Deny him his Dominance. That's pretty good. That does look pretty good. We get it. We go and uh, okay. That's a very good hand for round three, I would say. If we draw well enough here, this could be quite useful. The problem is now our seniors a bit bricked, which obviously not great. But we have DS Ire. We have uh, maybe DS Ire isn't even that good. Oh, that's good though. Okay, now it's good. Now this is very good. This is a very good hand now. Oh yeah, this is a very good hand now. Okay, I'm keeping it. Because this swarms, right? I, I, The only thing better would have been Congregation, I think. Other than that, I don't think there was any good card to draw here. We're getting one extra coin for every Fire Sworn card we play as well. We just have a whole Jack advantage now. He plays an engine, we kill it. Okay, wants to do that. Okay. That's a bit annoying. I think I have to kill this with my horse and right because this is an engine. I'm I'm happy with this, right? This this is fine. I have to play the Sacred Flame at some point though. Okay, sure, that's I wasn't able to deal with this anyway, so it doesn't matter. We get one coin for this. I can still use coins on the cleric, so I don't need to spend on my Jack just yet. Unseen Elder, wow, okay. That's a bit funny. You know why that's funny? Oh, he hit the Veil as well, that's pretty cool. Okay, I can use this, pay tribute. I can transform this. Oh wait, I can't transform this, that's annoying. I thought I could transform this. All right, I'll just click this now. I thought I could transform anything. Okay, Naglfar last card. Oh, that's pretty good. What's he gonna top deck? Please don't be a, a Weiger. Okay, this is the garbage hound, right? No, I was a wild hunt warrior. Well, that was a bit high rolly from him. But we take it in the end. Quite convincingly as well. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm happy with this result. I'm quite happy with this result. Okay. Nilfgaard, oh. The pro, oh, Nilfgaard's tough, right? Cause they just, outpoint you in a lot of ways like in a lot a lot of ways don't need smuggle I don't think I need two congregations damnation could be quite useful though oof uh, I'm not sure I need this this much control so I'm dropping this that's actually quite important that I drew this oh wait I have I have Ulrich right that's pretty nuts that is pretty good I mean, if he's playing Evar, that's a bit of a problem. I just want to get the good, the the good damnation value, right? He's playing Sunset. We saw that just now, so that's pretty nice. Okay, he's gonna thunder. Is this like an Alzer deck? Not sure. We got some good lines here. I'm kind of just waiting for him to enable the damnation. There you go. That's that's one little bit of damnation enabled. Just a tiny bit damnation enabled. I think I bo boost this and give this a little bit of juice. Okay, so he is playing Ivar. That is pretty obvious at this point. Should I play my second Fallen Knight? This is quite scary, to be honest. I think I play my second Fallen Knight. Okay. Hmm. 
question is can we somehow set up the damnation well enough i could pass here as well if i need to but I, i'm not giving him the the luxury of playing his sunset wanderers in the next round i mean how good is this damnation's not terrible here because i have two of my dudes set up now i know one of them is probably going to get ivard for like a bajillion points that's still a good little power play here oh this actually is a major booster to the okay so he's gonna oh he's gonna go that that's interesting i can still pass right he's on five. Oh, but this is still scary right yeah this is quite scary i need to kind of stop this engine going i need to probably use my horse and oh okay no no horse and then okay i mean if i get leader out of him i'm not too upset with it right like, he's going to have a big, like, Wanderers. But is that too... Is that, like, a problem? I mean, I could stay ahead with this, right? This is still going to keep me ahead. Like, at this point, I'm just trying to trade here, right? That makes the most sense. Like, I'm trading leader for, like, a 4-provision card. And if I can trade the 4-provision card for an Ivar, that's also really good for me. Okay, that's fine. I don't really mind it. So... Yeah, I have five exactly, so this is enough. He's losing his adrenaline at this point. So he has to play the Ivar now if he has it. Oh, he's got another one of those. Okay, that's a bit annoying. That's good points. I guess I'll go for the coin carryover then. Or do I pass? No, no I, want, I, want, I want him to play the Wanderers. I want him to sort of sequence a bit weird here. I think this is enough. Yep. I'm forcing him to play the card that he draws off of Dodric here. Or forcing him not to play the card he plays off of Dodric. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, there's the Wanderers out. Okay, so we got pretty much, we got a lot of him out. Like, 22 points Snowdrop, I'm happy with this round. Like, we've traded a lot of provisions here. And a leader as well. Like, we traded one leader charge for his entire, like, leader power play. I mean, he did, he did get two Blight Makers, which is just kind of nuts. And he kind of is going to be a Hyper Thin deck, I think. I mean, uh, could be. This deck seems pretty mid-rangey, to be honest. Tavern Brawl would have been nice, huh? <laughs> okay, I need, a, I need a dry pass card. That's a good dry pass card. Because I think he wants to go for double assay, and double assay is a bit annoying, but... I mean, we're not we're not in a complete garbage position here. Because if we can, like, carry over a, a coin or two... It's definitely not the worst. Especially with... If we keep Senior... If we, have, if we draw the Senior, which is arguably one of our most important cards... Okay, he keeps going. That's fine. What is he going to play for? Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. I do not mind it at all. Oh, that's pretty good. I have to do this then. Sure. If he wants to do it like this. Can you play like a big card next to this? Give my Tavern Brawl some value. He's down to like zero cards, which is kind of funny. Oh, come on, man. Really? That's annoying. That That's really dumb. This would have been my top card. Oh, dude. For real? Oh, that's really stupid. So his last cards are like Yennefer, right? Ah, oh, dude, that's unlucky. That's so unlucky. I don't think I, I, sh I should probably shouldn't have used the Tavern Brawl there. I don't think he would have played around it. We could have gotten some value out of it. Ah, oh, that's so unlucky. Man, that's really unlucky. That's such a lucky Vilgefortz. Really stupid. Okay, can I draw? Some good stuff here. Okay, this is not very good stuff. Okay, um... 
Well, I can't really do anything here, right? I am kind of just screwed here. I think I need to use one charge and then look for the Horson, which is on top of my deck, which is good. Then I can use one other charge to set up my Congregation. I have no real spender though, which is a bit of a problem. I guess we can, I mean, Horson, eh. Are we going to be able to deal with Horson? That is the question. Okay, I mean, that was always gonna happen. Bribery. Please no Horson, I guess. There's some good cards you can- Oh, that's so good. Ah, uh, that's so bad. <laughs> Four for eight. That's pretty bad, huh? That is actually garbage, isn't it? Interesting. Okay, I mean, he wants to reduce the amount of units I have. That makes sense. Wait, are we actually winning? No, we're not winning this, right? I mean, we could be winning this, to be fair. He did literally use everything. The only thing he has left is Yennefer. And she's like a 15. Like, the rest of his deck should just be garbage. Oh, wait, that's a bit... Oh, that's cheating. Wait, that's cheating! Oh, I wasn't thinking about that. Oh, that's really good. Damn, that's actually really annoying. <laughs> Alright. Okay, sure. His last card's a special here, too. <laughs> we might have... I might have thrown this a little bit. Ah, oh, I should've just killed the... Oh, dude, I forgot about that interaction. Oh, no! That's so dumb! Oh, my God. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Oh my god, I'm stupid. That was a huge throw. I mean, if we tie this somehow, I'm gonna be quite... It's gonna be quite hilarious. Oh, we, sh we could've won this, right? We could've so won this. Yeah, we could've easily won this. Oh, man, I was not... Dude, I forgot about the insanity. That was so good from him. That was really good from him. Thinking like that... I, I should've thought about that as well, but he was thinking about it, right? That's why he picked the horse and... I was just laughing because he got the horse and... But then he, he realized that the way he wins is if I don't kill the horse and with my horse and which kind of just sucked and so then he was forced to play the um the zarth instead of the yennefer yeah the, the, I, I probably would have won this i think if i if i don't play it completely throw the game god that was so many points that was a lot of points that was pretty good from him all right i will look at all the lines this time <laughs> when i'm playing Okay, uh, Fury, all right, sure. Oh, discard package, okay. So it's not fish flappers. I would like to find my, my good cards here. Okay. I did not find what I was actually looking for here. But that's okay, we can, we can live with that. Goes bear, sure. Let's do this. Oh, that's annoying that this goes through armor. So the armor is kind of use useless. Okay, he's just gonna point slam here. Realistically, that's fine with me. I'm not really looking to win this round anyway. Okay, that's pretty big. Alright, sure, whatever. I'll just play bad cards and probably pass. Oh, he's playing Wanderers, though. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Ah, oh, this is... Ah, oh, he drew the nuts. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> he drew the absolute nuts. Oh my god! This guy drew the perfect round one hand. What the hell am I supposed to do against that? That's so stupid. He can, he can literally tempo pass here. Wow. How dumb is that? Okay, he doesn't tempo pass. Wow, this guy drew really well. Oh, he has Maddox as well. What the hell? How did he... Oh, this was crazy. The actual Exodia hand with Skellige. Imagine playing against an Exodia player, dude. <laughs> so, H Horse and Senior is going to be quite valuable here, I think. Okay, I need a bronze card in my hand. I need a bronze unit in my hand. Oh, that's the bronze unit you want! 
That's the bronze unit you want. Looks good right now. Okay. Uh, our hand's a bit too good, though. Okay. He's banishing. I don't think I care. What if I can just go... I think I can go Vivaldi Bang and try and look for something. Priest will just die. If he bleeds out my Ulrich, I'm very upset. Let's see what this gives us. That's actually good. I like that. I'll pay tribute. I don't think Horson's going to be that good here. I think he passes here, right? There's no reason. Oh, what? He's not passing? Well, that's good for me. That just allows me to use my... Ulrich. Hello, Ulrich. S keep me ahead, buddy. Oh, heat wave? Buddy. Okay, there's a 10. There's a 10 point card all of a sudden. Where did that happen? <laughs> um, I mean, sure. Can I stay ahead with this? I think I can, right? Looks good. Ah, oh, that's rude. Ah, it's not actually that rude. It's not actually that rude. Because of my horse and senior, it's not that rude. But that's still a bit annoying. To be fair, because I, I actually am not ahead now. But like, sh short round Jacques still really solid here, right? And I can ensure my top decks as well. And and these aren't even that good against the Madoc. He used two leader charge. I used full leader and my fallen knight. But I get a unit that literally like plays for twelve points. It's naked. I don't think that nation's good here, so I'm actually gonna mulligan my congregation. Oh yeah, that's the hand. <laughs> that just is the hand, right? That just kind of is the hand. All right, let's go. Play this first because we want the engine going. It's our only engine at the moment. Sure, that's fine. Oh, he actually got lucky. He actually got so lucky there, didn't he? That's a bit annoying. Question is, is he gonna play around? He is gonna play around Tavern Brawl. Slightly. For the moment, he is playing around it. For sure, though. Ah, oh, dude, that hit on. Ah, oh, that was so lucky. The fact that he killed the Jack there was really, really lucky. If he didn't do that, I think I just auto win the game at this point. So. I do this. I don't click yet, do I? No point in clicking. He can't really do anything about this anymore. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't really do much. Right, I click now though. Look at these points! Where do these points come from? Look at that. It's nine. It's the broken ass nine. Oh, okay, that's pretty nice. That's an 8, right? Oh, before... Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I I did this too late. I think I just win here. I don't, I don't It doesn't really matter what I do. Oh, that's good, though, I guess. I mean, eh, it's not even that great, to be honest. Like, I have just have this huge play right now. Guess that play only gets punished by a bomb, but, like, a bomb doesn't win here, so... Don't really care... Yeah, that's that's not gonna cut it. That's definitely not gonna cut it for sure. All right, pretty solid games, I would say. Those are those were really fun games. All right, so damnation. Damnation is a bad card. Don't get me wrong. This card's pretty bad, but I mean, with some setup and right now the meta isn't terrible for it. I wouldn't say it's like unplayable. There are definitely decks that will be spawning like two point units. For example, let's say exa like I, we haven't played any Precision Strike today, but against Precision Strike, this is a pretty good swing against the leader ability, which they tend to use quite early these days because they need to just thin the deck as much and power ahead as much as possible. And yeah, Damnation does that quite well, but obviously 
it's quite conditional, you know, right? It, it still is that conditional card. But with the, like, realistically, if you only have one death blow, this card isn't terrible, right? It plays for an eight, for seven, with some spawn synergy as well, and crime synergy as well. So there's always that to consider in the, like, but in a vacuum, the card isn't that great. Like, this card is very dependent on the opponent's board and your board having a good amount of, like, cards that synergize with it. And we did get some good value out of it. Like, we got some pretty nice value for this card. I think against the Northern Realms player, it was. That was a pretty solid value damnation that kept us ahead uh, that turn, which was pretty good. And, yeah, like, I mean, let's talk about Fire Sworn now, because, like, damnation, like, you know, the, you know the card's bad. You don't need to, like, need, need me to tell you. Fire Sworn is kind of the example of, like, getting power crept, basically. Like, the, the archetype was never really tier one to start with and it's really hard to put a archetype like this in tier one because it's so dependent on devotion and that's the biggest problem with firesworn right now is the fact that it is kind of dependent on devotion they did get one good card with horson in the last year since master mirror and you know obviously a few buffs here and there like the damnation buff just now but in general the, the archetype lacks removal and the, the problem with Gwent right now is you need... If your deck doesn't have removal, you're going to lose the game. Because there are so many threatening cards going around. And the, the deck, don't get me wrong, the deck has, like, crimes as removals. Like, you know, Bloody Good Funds, Paydays, Horson. Those are good, like, decent removals. But, like, hard removal, like a Heat Wave, this deck doesn't have. Uh, you could play Morels, but you would have to sort of build your deck more around getting coins, and you don't really want to do that because you want to, you know, kind of play more for a Swarm Point Slam uh, idea. And yeah, Damnation and sorry, in, in general, the Fire Sworn archetype is a bit behind right now. You can definitely tell, and the, the thing is, they're not going to, you know, obviously give Fire Sworn some support with this next batch of price of power cards so we're gonna probably have to wait a little bit i would like them to sort of not rework but like buff a few cards here and there like for example the the eternal priest uh not not the engine the one that has the fee too with the cooldown uh, it's kind of just like a worse hell beat and, and hell beat at this point is kind of worth it to just play as a 10 for 10 with the synergy he has with the deck so maybe like here and there a few cards uh, that could get a buff. Uh, Keeper of the Sacred Flame, I think, is also a card. I think it's the one where you tribute and boost all units in the row by one. I think it needs to get a bit of a more bit more conditions. I think it had. I think they gave it the cleric synergy or something like that. But I don't think that's really worth it at the end. Uh, it needs to sort of be able to. Um, because like it's kind of like just a bad chimera, right? It, it's literally a bad chimera. And it needs to sort of be a chimera, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what card I mean, you know what I'm saying. That's all I have to say for the Farsworn archetype and Damnation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon.